Legislative match could come to an end with a bill now on the, uh, the desk rather of Governor Tony Evers. This after the Republican controlled Senate and Assembly passed a bill today approving the maps drawn by the governor, avoiding a battle before the state's left leaning Supreme Court, which could have created maps less favorable for Republicans. Jason Zimmerman continues to follow the story as it unfolds. He's live in the newsroom with a first alert update. Jason. Cammy, a spokesperson for the governor's office tonight saying there has been no change in his position since last week when he announced he would sign off on a bill passing his own maps. Republicans today in taking this vote disagreeing with each other on whether it's the right move. It was technically a bipartisan vote, but only two Democrats voted with Republicans, one in the Senate and another in the Assembly. Even though the maps are drawn by the governor, who said it will make a number of legislative seats much more competitive across the state. I think if we get Governor Evers' maps, it's going to be more challenging. There's no doubt about that. Uh, they are clearly drawn in a way to help Democrats, but I still think we can win because we have a better message. So if we get the ability, I hope we convince our caucus to be able to do that. Speaker Robin Voss was able to convince his caucus by late Monday afternoon, although the Senate had a number of holdouts, including Eric Wimberger from Green Bay. I have a major problem with what's going on here as a, as a, I guess, a function of government. Wimberger goes on to say in a statement, this is a judicial takeover of the legislature that violates the principles of divided government, and I am simply not willing to give up without a fight. That's why I voted no in adopting a court-induced map previously, and why I voted no again today, In quote. Democrats who voted against adopting Evers' maps pointed to language in the bill that would not put the new maps into effect until the November general election instead of immediately, with the Democratic minority leader saying, quote, their motives today, like their actions of the past decade are ill-intentioned and self-serving, end quote. As for Evers, this is what he told up front, a show which airs on WBAY Sunday mornings. As you know, the first thing is they have to, they have to pass them, and I, I have great doubts that, that that could happen. But if, if my maps uh, are approved by the legislature, of course I'd sign them. And I just want to clarify, it was actually late this afternoon that Assembly Republicans took that vote. Should the governor sign this bill as expected, 15 lawmakers in the Assembly would be forced to run against each other because of boundary changes, and there would be at least six such pairings in the Senate. Bill and Cammie, back to you.